looking for a way to convert a shed into a chicken coop, you have come to the right place. After combing the internet looking for chicken coops, I found lots of ridiculously expensive models, are small and expensive ones, that didn't seem roomy enough for my future brood. So I settled on buying a discounted prepackaged shed and redesigned it. I've had a long history as an interior designer, so this was going to be a lot of fun for me. Plus, I had my husband who loves to build things and helps from friends and family members. I fell in love with this shed because of its roof profile, the price, and the size. It's an 8x12 shed which allows me plenty of room to divide and build a coop with a shed attached in the back for about 12 chickens. Of course, I needed to add windows for ventilation, a nesting box, new doors for the shed addition, lights, hardware, the roof, the run. Oh, and I also wanted to top it off with our rooster weather vane. Now, how could you have a chicken coop without a rooster weather vane, right? But first things first, after I ordered the shed, I needed a plan. And I did lots of research and contemplated a number of different designs. But understanding the location and how I wanted it to sit on the site, I finally ended up with this. So here's a quick glimpse of my coop and run going up. Things to consider, a backyard hen house that houses a dozen or so chickens year round should be spacious, a minimum of five square feet of floor space per hen, which is so much more room than a chicken gets when it's grown commercially. I attached a nice sized chicken run because we have plenty of hungry predators around here and so there'll be times where they will not be able to be outside and they'll be in the coop in the run for a while, so I want them to be happy. Predator proofing. One of the most important things to do when planning your coop and run is to build it so predators cannot get your chickens. There are many ways to do it, but the idea is to make sure those varmints can't get into your coop or run and eat your chickens or their eggs. We dug a 12 inch wide by about 18 inch deep trench around where the run would sit and put cinder blocks inside the trench. Then we filled it with a quick set concrete then laid rot-proof redwood 2x4s level with the soil. That was our foundation and our predator proofing technique for this run. My coop has a wood floor and it sits on a wood frame, so we attached lattice with hardware cloth to the base of the coop, discouraging rodents and snakes. If you have a wood floor, you can add a sheet of inexpensive vinyl to keep it from absorbing moisture, and this also helps with cleaning the coop. Lighting. Lighting can scare away those predators, and it's helpful if you need to get into your chicken coop at night. The exterior light fixtures on the coop are motion-sensored lights. I added more motion-sensored lights in the garden beds in front of the coop, which lights up the entire front of the hen house and run. Storage. There are lots of things that you're going to need to store for these chickens. So if you think ahead and include this in your design, you won't be sorry. We divided our coop and used a quarter of it for storage and left the rest for the coop. Windows. You'll need to put windows in your coop so your chickens will know what time it is. The amount of eggs they lay depend on how many hours of daylight there are. Also, ventilation is important and windows are good for that too. Just make sure to keep them high off the ground so they're predator proof. Ventilation. In addition to windows, make sure you put vents at the highest point possible in your coop to help circulation and to let that hot air out. Nesting box. Nesting boxes enhance egg production and prevent hens from hiding eggs all around your yard. The nest should be placed within a chicken coop where they can be easily accessed for egg gathering and cleaning. Fill the bottom of your box with wood shavings, sawdust, or even shredded paper. I put a plastic liner that fits in the bottom of my boxes to make cleanup easy. For standard sized chickens, the boxes should be 12 inches wide by 9 inches high and 12 inches deep. If you select a breed that's particularly large or small, make sure to adjust these dimensions to fit your flock. One box should be sufficient for four hens. Remember, nesting boxes should sit lower than the roost to discourage your hens from sleeping in them at night. Coop door. I wanted a coop door that I could open without having to go into the run. So after a little research, we ended up with this design. To open the door and let my chickens out in the morning, I just pull on this latch attached to the coop's door, 
and secure it on this little hook here. And that's it. And my hens happily run out. Aren't they so cute? <laughs> Don't forget to put a coop ramp with rungs about every six inches if you have an off the ground coop. Locks. Locks are not only good for keeping out predators, but they're also really good for preventing curious small children from letting your chickens out when they should be in. I used a cabin hook and eye shed door latch up high so those kiddos can't reach it. And it really does the trick. For extra protection, I have a shed tea handle with a keyed lock. Roosts. Inside your chicken coop, you'll need to install a roost. Now this is a place for your chickens to sleep. Once it is dark, one by one, your chickens will move into the coop and settle down for the night. By instinct, chickens want to be at the highest point available, and they like to be gathered together in a group for protection and warmth. So try to keep your roost all at the same level so your hens won't fight over for the best spot in the coop. Remember, chickens poop a lot when they sleep, so make sure you keep those roosts away from the nesting boxes or where you'll be walking. Roosting area should allow up to about six to 10 inches per chicken, and you can use a two inch wooden dowel or tree branches for your roost. The run. Like I said, you wanna give your chickens ample room, so you'll need at least eight square feet per chicken. And there's all kinds of runs out there, but we decided on one that was permanent. Wire mesh. The type of hardware cloth is important for your chicken security. So we chose the rust proof galvanized double zinc coated wire mesh with half inch squares to prevent predators from tearing the cloth. Make sure you sandwich your hardware cloth in between a wood frame so animals can't push through the mesh. Hardware. A little bit of decorative hardware can dress up your coop. I found these hinges and a shed handle that worked well with the hardware that came with the shed. We installed a sliding bolt gate latch with an S binder to ensure extra safety. Water. When planning your coop and shed, make sure there's a water source. You'll need it for cleaning the structure and hydrating your chickens. I used a painter's bucket with nipples that I found online. This keeps your chicken's water clean. On hot days, I give them extra water and a dispenser. Food. I've never met a chicken that didn't like to eat. I feed and water my chickens in the run. Less mess in the coop that way. Hanging your food from the run's rafters is the way to go to keep your chickens from landing on the top of the dispenser or knocking over their food. Roosts. Chickens love to be up high and off the ground. I added roosts on both sides of my run. You'll also need space in your run for dust bathing. Chickens love to bathe in the dust to get rid of mites. Weather vane. I have always wanted a weather vane. And what's a chicken house without one anyway? I prefer coops and runs that I can walk into easily for cleaning, and also so I can just spend time with my chickens. So I would strongly suggest not to buy a starter coop. Buying one might turn out to be an expensive mistake. Design and build the right housing from the start and you'll have a healthy, peaceful, productive flock.